Good morning, everybody. It is still morning. Yes. Um, this is the earliest I've been out of the house, I feel, in a week. Might be accurate. Maybe um, longer. Yeah, maybe longer. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, you know that we are heading to a Disney resort today. We didn't tell you which one. We're not going to tell you which one until we get there. But we're very excited. And we, our room's already ready at, well, it was actually ready at like 8.30. Um, so that's exciting. That means no one was in that room until... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So we're heading there now. are here at our cabin, Fort Wilderness. We are in loop 2800, Willow Way. So we are planning on going to a park a little bit later, um, but we are both very hungry. So I'm gonna head out to the settlement. Um, they don't have any of the restaurants open like Trails End or anything, but they do have their quick service option open, which is kind of like a takeout deal. Um, so I'm gonna go get out there and get some food. All right, so P&J's is the takeout. Um, normally you enter in here, but as that sign says, we're gonna go in through Trails End. So I went in through Trails End, where they created kind of a line to the door, ordered over here, make your way back around down the buffet and get your food picked up right here. It's really creepy in here with it being so empty and so quiet. It's not the hustle and bustle of the buffet. So that was pretty quick and painless. Um, they had arrows on the floor kind of directing you to the exit. The exit's actually the side door by the arcade, um, which is weird because I've never really thought of that door as being like a usable door. Um, but real quick, looks like they got the new play area up. Um, unfortunately, they just got it up <laughs> for this to shut down, but I want to show you guys that real quick. So they put ooh, fancy new like soft ground, but this used to be right there. So they moved it. It's a lot bigger too. They put some more space on there. That's really nice. Yeah, this is Shales End, Pioneer Hall, not running. Um, but that quick service is actually, Crockett's Tavern is also running. Um, they had arrows entering the same door. You just kind of shoot straight down the bar. Um, but those are what's open right now over here for food. So we ran into a little bit of an ordeal with the food and Duncan didn't realize until he got back to our cabin that they had only given him one of our meals. Um, so a lot of back and forth and we haven't actually gotten it resolved yet, but we are trying to go to studios to get a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass, so we didn't really have time to deal with it right now, um, but we'll get a refund later. Uh, but it, it ended up working out okay because we got a, well, we were getting two two-piece chicken meals, but it came with two pieces of cornbread and two chicken pieces and two sides. So pro tip, if you're not looking to like stuff yourself, you could probably split it. And you thought we were gonna get four pe or eight pieces of chicken. Yeah, well because if you're looking for like value, a two piece chicken meal is $10 and change. And the eight piece meal is 23 so if you were gonna buy two two piece you know what i'm saying yeah, two two piece good deal. yeah it's a good deal it's three dollars like more it's for, like four for, chicken for free yeah exactly well four more chickens for three dollars yeah yeah so but it it'll all work out so wish us luck send us good vibes we're not we're not confident we're going to get a boarding group when we don't need one but I want one so we'll see
you guys look. This is unplanned for real. <laughs> just, She's a copycat. No, I didn't. I had it picked out. I didn't know he was wearing it. Um, so we are in Theater of the Stars. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's kind of loud in here. Um, and they don't have Beauty and the Beast live on stage right now, but they have the Disney Society Orchestra, and we have no idea what to expect. The Orchestra! And today you'll hear some familiar tunes from right here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And this next number will take you to a hive of villainy and scum in a galaxy far, far away. Orchestra and Friends. Yes. Um, and I loved it. It's definitely some of the musicians from the Grand Floridian Society. We pulled up a picture and we could like spot them in the in yeah. the group. So that's good because they don't have I I don't think that music musicians aren't playing right now because of the actors union stuff, but there's nobody at the Grand Floridian except the NBA and DVC, so that makes sense and no encouraging people to hang out in the lobby. So. Yeah. But it was good. And then they brought the Beauty and the Beast characters out at the end since that's normally where Beauty and the Beast live on stage is. So we're gonna go hit up some Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Since everything's pretty short right now. Yeah.
nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> Seven people on the the attraction. Yeah, it's still, that's still good. And we got a combination of like all old stuff. Yeah, we went to the Wookie Planet. I haven't gone to the Wookie Planet in like forever. But now inspired by the Disney Society Orchestra playing the Muppet theme, I'm gonna go see some Muppets. Have eyes. What? There's eyes everywhere. <laughs> There's eyes right there. I'm well rested. <laughs> and now I'm hungry. So we're going to Backlot Express. And I'm excited for a Wookie Cookie sandwich. It's the second Wookie Cookie joke today. Uh. Okay, after it's done. It was good. It was too much. Just in general. Would you get again? Yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna be a regular? I will get it solo. Uh, ah. I'm so <laughs> We're seeing which bow tie Duncan would get. Shavings. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I kind of thought you might go with the green one. No, it's Shavings. We're heading to Galaxy's Edge. So we are in line for Rise of the Resistance and we actually ended up getting a backup boarding group. We were backup boarding group 58. I have a feeling that was one of the first backup groups because we were in at two PM to get our boarding pass, so but it's only 4:30 and they're on the first backup group, I think. So this is all estimation. I don't actually know what the first backup group is, but and that might change daily.
leave us? Yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. This time, it's opening for you. Tuesday, August 4th. Snow White has cleaned the cottage of the seven dwarves, hoping they'll let her stay with them. She was planning to wait up to greet them, but she's very tired. As she stretches out to sleep, Snow White's feathered friends make sure she'll sleep warmly. So, honestly, since we've been back, we have not done anything. Actually, I did a lot of things, but they were boring things. If you really want to know, I organized my entire LuLaRoe inventory on my inventory management system. It's very exciting, but it's done, and I've been trying to do it for like, what, two weeks? And it's all done. So when I load for uh, an event tomorrow, it'll take me like 20 minutes instead of two hours. I just got lots of time back in my life. Denton's being really dramatic over here, so we're gonna let him go to bed. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Wait! Ah! We forgot to tell him two things. Two things. C cliffhanger resolutions. Um, one, totally forgot to tell you guys last night that I did get a second interview for that interview I had last night and two um, we were kind of telling you about a, a food issue we had um, before we went to studios and uh, we got it all resolved so all is well that's it have a good night bye bye hey, thanks for coming to the show <laughs> 